Hi, I'm Coach Sia Bluford at uh, Bishop O'Dowd High School, uh, JV coach. Um, I'm here with Let's uh, Talk Sports Nation. assistant coach for Bishop O'Dowd Women's Varsity. I've been here 11 years now, so a long time. We struggled a little bit. We had some good years and we had one struggle year, and since that struggle year, we've had a pretty much elite program here, and it's been fun to be a part of. God, there's been so many players. I don't know if I can name them all. Um, of course, you know, you had Odair Cheatham, Casey Waters, Ariel Bostic, Brianna Brown, they were huge. We had Robbie Mayberry, Alexis Bostic, who really started to transition to the elite program that we became. You know, you have Laurie L. Powell, Randy Jackson, Margaret Huntington, so many kids that have made contributions that um, it's just been amazing. Very blessed, very blessed. The highlight, I think, would be obviously winning our first state championship. Um, and then the Open Division being the first team to win the first Open Division championship was, I don't think you can replace that feeling. That was awesome. Yeah. Bishop Dow has a history of its own already. Um, coming here, um, it's either winning the state title or bust. I actually at this school, um, like I said, great coaching staff here, um, and that's what we're pushing for. Get to state, win state. Um, it's it's going to be a challenge to get there again, but uh, we're definitely striving for that. That's the ultimate goal. Mr. Sid, yeah. oh, it's been awesome. He, we're very blessed that he made the move over here. Um, he's been outstanding so far. He just fit right in right into our philosophy, the way we do things, it's been outstanding. Excited to have them this year. Well, right now we're doing a 505. Uh, we're kind of just uh, running two plays here, basically getting their conditioning, uh, getting familiar with each other's uh, talents. You have to go by your talent and the ability of the team. You can't just use every system everywhere you go. So I'm just kind of pretty much adapt to what I have, you know, the talent that I have and go from there. I'm defensive minded, so um, you know, press, uh, man up defense, um, that triggers offense for me. Uh, offense, definitely a brand new offense, so um, we're going to be a lot of pressure. Going to be a fast team, aggressive team, and, and that's kind of my trait, so I'm going to implement that, definitely. My coaching style probably is, I'll get on you, but I'll give you a hug at the end of the day, is, is pretty much how I can sum it up. Okay. Is I'm going to push you to be, your, to be the best you can be on and off the court, um, but I'm also basically open arms all the time. Um, and that's kind of how I work, yeah. And actually that's how we all work, really, to be honest with you. Practice is a time that we, we normally get on them and, and push them the hardest, so this is where all the mistakes are made and this is where we try to fix it, is when we're in open gym and practice. We've got a couple of girls uh, that are, are really, really good. We are, we're missing one this year, uh, Aisha Thomas, she tore ACL. She's probably a uh, top five guard in the nation, actually quite a few offers, um, but we're still, we're going to be very tough, very talented, um, we'll, be, we'll be a force to reckon with. Um, our expectations remain the same every year is to win a state title, and it's not going to change any year we're here. So that's always our, our goals, but at the end of the day, it's to get better day by day and to make sure these girls have the best experience and grow as individuals on and off the court, and that's about it.